What's up, everybody? I'm Alex. I'm Ingrid. And we are Encrypted Couple, your sexy crypto couple. And today we want to talk to you about Potcoin, which was one of the first uh, cannabis-related cryptocurrencies. But before we get to that, let's let Ingrid tell you a little bit about her background in the cannabis industry. So guys, I've been a cannabis activist since 2012. I actually did that through the University and Students for Sensible Drug Policies and many avenues. All the city council members in uh, Colorado Springs are very familiar with me. I've also managed um, multiple dispensaries, been in grows, and planned national conferences um, regarding marijuana laws. So I'm pretty well versed um, in cannabis and what that industry entails. So um, we're gonna start breaking down this coin and then I'm gonna give you some personal, relevant experiences from inside the industry. So yeah. So one of the first things that you can notice about Potcoin, which is pretty interesting, is they have a max uh, supply of 420 million coins. 420, baby. If you is, don't know uh, what that is, look it up. Yeah, you're going to have to look it up. Pretty Rocky actually, Mountain High. Woo pretty, pretty funny story on where the whole 420 thing came from, but that's for <laughs> another YouTube video. You can search that later. Cottonmouth Kings is also but, a good band. Um, <laughs> yeah, so definitely a really weird industry to specialize but very applicable because of the whole confusion with the banking system. Uh, we saw an article came out recently about how Florida, they, they just recently passed medical and they're already cracking down and the banks are kicking out all these medical companies. So it's, uh, it's pretty weird how this loophole of it being federally completely illegal and uh, on some state levels completely legal. It, it's just this huge cognitive dissonance thing and it's it's honestly got a lot of companies probably really scared about where are they gonna stick their cash, you know, and this seems like one of the best opportunities with how many uh, different countries have ATMs now? Over 35 countries, so we um, yeah, we, they, we estimate around 1,000 ATMs in over 35 countries. You can just look it up on Potcoin, um, just, just Google it and you can get all this information yourself and it pinpoints every single ATM. There's two ATMs in Colorado and Denver, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna check those um, when we're up in D-Town next and check out those Potcoin ATMs. What we like about this coin specifically is that um, the marijuana industry is all cash because it's federally illegal, as we mentioned earlier. So can you imagine how safe I would feel as a manager working with maybe one or two other employees and having $10,000 worth of cash and no security? Because most of these dispensaries do not have security. Yeah, there's cameras, but there's no security guards. You can't have any weapons because it's against the law to have any weapons, so no pepper spray, no knives, nothing. So you're completely unarmed in a dispensary with $10,000 cash. What Potcoin does is provide a solution for that. You can convert fiat into the Potcoin, pay for it with Potcoin, and that really is amazing, especially for the people working in the industry. I mean, a lot of people like glamorize it and don't realize the ins and outs of, of what actually come, occurs in a day-to-day -day situation inside a dispensary as the manager, bud tender, whatever. So um, we really like that about Potcoin. And then um, there's some up and coming features that I'll let Alex tell you about that um, we're really excited to see them launch in the future. Yeah, there's all types of stuff. They have a roadmap on their website, but no dates. So it's kind of just left in suspense of when the stuff's gonna happen. But so they're gonna do a phone wallet and they're also gonna make it so that you can text a number and automatically be able to download the phone wallet with uh, coins already in the wallet. So free coins, that is a big, uh, you know, that rings bells in people's ears when they hear free. Um, and then they're also doing this reward system. There's this complication with uh, medical and recreational cannabis companies where they actually have to pay money to another company just to get some kind of reward system going. And uh, this will automatically have rewards um, when you use pot coins. And so people are gonna be incentivized to use pot coin to buy their cannabis, not only for that, but also because the price has been going up too. Um, so there's a lot of, lot of potential for pot coin, and it'll be really interesting to see if this truly is the solution for the cannabis industry, because there is this federal law where they can't use banks, but is there a federal law that says that cannabis companies can't use potcoin. And better than that, uh, would that even matter? Because it's already completely federally illegal anyways. So it's like- how, So what is legal and what's not? Much, I mean, we're always in the gray area. We're yeah, always operating in the gray area. It's funny because it's like, how much more illegal could it possibly get? I mean, would it really be more illegal if they used potcoin? If anything, uh, I think it would be safer um, it's a little bit harder to get uh, robbed by, you know, what, the FBI or somebody when they have to, you know, hack your, hack your account. 
And uh, we're still in that gray yeah. area. We're still in the beginning of crypto. So this is the opportunity to get in on this. We do want to mention this coin's been around since 2014. So it's been it's been slowly, slowly built upon that solid foundation. So we're really excited to see where it goes. Again, not financial advisors, not here to give you any kind of financial advice, just sharing experiences. So now we got want to get into a couple things. First of all, our winners. Guys, let me just say a little something. We got we got it, we gotta be real with y'all. We had over 30 comments from the videos yesterday and only two smart cash addresses. So if you want that five dollar five, I keep saying five dollars, five smart cash, five which smart. could be five million dollars, and you know, we don't <laughs> know exponential growth for this for this coin. Um, leave the smart cash address below. And then secondly, Rocky Mountain High, baby. Um, we're talking about pot coin that, that you can just come out and get this Rocky Mountain High. This is where we play. This is where we live. Um, and we're so grateful to bring these views to you. So thanks for tuning in for another video. Make sure you follow us on Steemit. Subscribe on YouTube. All the info in the description below. And we will see you in the next video.